Hey guys. I actually cut my own hair, so not always great. So Wednesday, lesson of the day. It's Wednesday. Yes, because I did consults today. So lesson of the day, we had many, many, many consults today and we had two common themes which kind of overlap. So we shall go over these three common themes actually now that I think about it. The common thing today, uh, which I've talked about part of it before, but in separate types of things are jowling and the different kinds of jowling and what a jowl actually is. Mailar bags versus festoons, which kind of falls into the line of what we're going to talk about. And the phrase or statement, Morpheus didn't work for me. And I kind of want to explain why, because I like Morpheus. So I will go over all that. So the, I think I say so too much, like how people say, um, but I don't say, um, so it's better than, um, so the jowls, what are they? The jowls are created over time by the face drooping down this way. And there are different things that can make it droop down this way. One is gravity. One is deflation. And another one is contracture of this muscle. There's a different appearance for all of these. The appearance for buccal fat removal causing jowling is that this looks hollow, this looks super deep and the muscle doesn't contract much. That's usually because someone removed buccal fat and they get this extra prominence or fold because the cheek collapsed. That's the volume loss. From drooping, it looks like a very stereotyp or typical jowl where it just looks heavy here. There's an indentation in front of it and that's from drooping plus a little volume loss in this area. And you know that's happening because this area is dark. It's dark, not because it's throwing a shadow because light doesn't come from that way. It comes from this way, it comes from that way. So when it's dark here, it's actually not a shadow uh, from blocking of light. It's a shadow from darkening of skin. And that darkening of skin happens because you lose volume under this. Okay, reconnecting, perfect. Don't use the Wi-Fi at my office, even though we pay $2,000 a month for it, it doesn't work. This area gets dark because light goes through the skin and usually hits the smas or the fat being yellow or a uh, mix of colors, which is smas with water in it, reflects back to your eye. When you lose the volume underneath here, it goes and hits muscle and comes back to your eye. So it looks dark. That's why it looks dark there. It's not an actual light shadow. So the shadows on the face are both things, but that's what happens over there. The other type of jowling occurs in a circular fashion. So you look at a jowl and it looks round here, up high, it's not down here, it's actually higher up. That's due to contracture. That's because your depressor anguli oris muscle, which is that guy, pulls you down over here and causes the circular rounding over there. And the way to improve that is with Botox. So you can actually do Botox in the depressor and it'll relax the high jowl, not the low jowl. That's the difference. The other ways that you can improve the jowls are lifting. So a facelift is the best way since it is drooping. And even when you do a facelift, if you really wanna make a nice linear improvement there, you wanna add a little volume into that pre-jowl sulcus we call, and even the pre-jowl fold, which is right up here. So you lift, you fat graft, that's the best treatment. Radio frequency skin tightening. You can do something like profound or uh, face tight or morpheus or things like that, and it'll tighten up the jowl as well a little tiny bit. Liposuction, no, liposuction doesn't work. People say it works, but really uh, it doesn't work so well. And then when you facelift somebody, it ends up causing a bit of an issue with indentation on the face. Interestingly, if you do just a platysmoplasty for some, and do a little posterior neck lift right there without even touching the face, it does alleviate it a little bit. Uh, doing Liposuction on the bottom part of that, no problem, but once you get above the jawline, then you end up with some issues there. The other area that we were asked about today was the malar round or malar bag, which is this area over here. It's the bag that's on the cheek, not the bag that's on the eye. This is the bag that's on the eye, that's the bag that's on the cheek. This typically occurs because you get volume loss or sagging in front of it and you see what we call the malar septum and then to make it worse you get fluid retention as the face has to drain this way and around. The only way to improve that is either adding volume here or shrinking that. But you can only shrink it with radio frequency. The best radio frequency for this area in the past was Fractora, then it became Morpheus which was the best and then now Matrix is coming out which is by Cineron Candela and that I've seen has the biggest improvements from it thus far. So you can do 
matrix over there to help the malar rounds. And if you have early festooning, which is more under here, it can improve that as well, whether it's a wet or dry festoon. Those are two different kinds of festoons. The other reason that malar bags or festoons get worse on people out of nowhere, it's not out of nowhere, it's because they did filler in the under eye and filler in the under eye can draw in water. And if you draw in water to somebody who already has a bit of poor drainage over there, then it can exaggerate it and this can happen for 10 plus years. Then you have to go get rid of it. Now, to the radio frequencies for these areas, why did four people today say I tried Morpheus and it didn't work? Number one thing to explain is that all radio frequencies are different. They are not the same. You cannot compare one to the other. They're completely, completely different in their technology and the changes to expect from them. So what do you expect from these devices? As far as skin tightening goes, true skin tightening, the best was, sorry, my brother just said I was way off with that 80. That's a reference for Christopher Walken, the Census Bureau. I hope you guys watch that skit. It's amazing. Saturday Night Live. The differences are pretty astounding between the different radio frequencies and the radio frequency called profound is a bi true bipolar radio frequency with 10 prongs, five pairs, and it goes under the skin and causes the greatest degree of actual skin tightening. So actual improvement in folds, which part of the improvement in shadowing comes from the improvement in density, which changes the shadowing and the other becomes actual tightening and bringing things back. So that's the number one. You do one treatment with that, you get the biggest change that's ever existed from all these radio frequencies consistently. Doesn't mean the other ones can't do it. We're talking about consistency. The next one is gonna be Morpheus. Morpheus is a multi-prong, multipolar type bipolar, but it has two grounds. And uh, because of that, it doesn't concentrate the energy very well. It disperses a little bit more, which makes it a, a little bit more of a dispersive type of radio frequency. And the benefit to Morpheus is that you have variable levels that you can inject it. It could be one millimeter, could be four millimeters. So you can target one millimeter, which is at the base of your, your kind of dermal epidermal junction, early dermis. You can go to one point or two millimeters, which you just pass the dermis on most parts of the face, but you can assume the base of your dermis is about at the, just under the two millimeter mark or earlier than that, like 1.5 to two. And then you go down to three, four millimeters. Now you're hitting fat and smas. Uh, or hypodermis, whatever you want to call it. So you can actually choose which one of these you want to treat. The issue with this is you can't get the power too high without causing damage. So you have to perform the treatment more times. That's why Morpheus has performed four times, five times, three times, rather than profound, which is once. Benefit of it is though, you can have no downtime. So you don't get as swollen as you do with profound. Profound, you just get huge, big fat face for like three, four days, and then at a week you're normal. Morpheus doesn't have that kind of downtime. So these patients said that it didn't work, but it did work. They got improvements in their pores because they went at probably one millimeter depth. Uh, it just didn't work for the overall skin tightening that they wanted because you can't go as high on the energy without causing damage. So people that do it are safe and they're responsible and they do smaller incremental improvements and people have trouble seeing that unless you uh, get either lucky or and see it immediately or take a photo. So Morpheus is not really as much meant for, in my eyes, the overall massive skin tightening or as much as you can get uh, with, with Profound, for example, but it is excellent at doing improvement in uh, the superficial layer, one millimeter for the pores, getting some dermal tightening, but you have to repeat it a couple times. And if you want fat reduction in the submentum at four millimeters, that's fantastic. So Morpheus is really, really good for that. Fractora wasn't variable, so you can't use it as much. Uh, now we have Matrix coming out. Matrix is going to be the most awesome of all of these uh, variable ones. Profound's always going to be the king uh, for the next several years on actual skin tightening. But then Matrix is coming out, which is going to give you the versatility of treating festoons and malar bags and that kind of stuff, uh, again, in different layers. Then there's a device called Softwave. Softwave, and I'm just talking about the effective ones for skin tightening. There's a million other radio frequencies that exist. They're not that great for skin tightening. They're better for like superficial pores and endymed and things like that. Softwave is a transdermal, uh, it's a, sorry, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, what do you call it? It's like a, it has crystals on it and you put it on the skin and it uh, sends the energy across the skin. The benefit of this is you don't have to numb with injections. You don't have much downtime. 
and you can get a pretty substantial improvement. Now, does this remind you of anything else? Althera. Why is this a billion, trillion, whatever, million times better than Althera? Althera is ultrasound energy, and with the different handpieces on Althera, you can try to get different depths. The problem is, as much as you might hear that it's a focused energy, it is not a focused energy. It spreads and disperses energy around the area that it's supposed to be focused on. So you end up kind of with an uncontrolled amount of heat dispersion. So if you don't have a high level of heat, you're totally fine on the old parameters. When people try to crank it up to higher energy levels, it disperses all the way around. You get bigger amounts of fibrosis and shrinkage of the SMAS, which is the layer that really hydrates under your skin. So that's why we don't like it. Softwave, however, is much more focused. So Softwave is a really cool device. It works at about the same fluence as Profound. And that's very interesting. Fluence is your uh, power per area. So your joules per square centimeter. And this is what determines how much energy is deposited in an area accurately or precisely. So Profound uses 67 degrees, three seconds. If you translate the fluence, I forgot what it was in joules per square centimeter, but Softwave at their optimal treatment point is actually pretty much identical, which is what makes it cool. And it also hits the same depth. So that's where Softwave, I think, is one of the more genius, non-invasive ones where you don't even put a needle in. And I think that's fantastic. The new Matrix has the ability to do that on a smaller handpiece than Softwave, uh, and it can be used on more distinct areas. So I think those are gonna be uh, really cool treatments to try for people who don't wanna be poked with needles. And uh, I think they're very, very safe and don't disperse energy in an uncoordinated fashion into other areas. So the conclusion of this would be if you want true skin tightening or the most skin tightening that I've seen consistently, even though it has a big downtime, do profound. If you want versatility and say, oh, I want to treat a couple different layers or the doctor says, you know, you have these pores I want to treat or anything else, then you can combine it with Morpheus or do Morpheus by itself. The new matrix is going to be probably the best for these Maillard bags, festoons, and you can use it for minor skin tightening other places, but still profound will be the king of that. And then soft wave is just fantastic for somebody who doesn't want to get stabbed. And it's a pretty easy treatment. I don't know about the longevity of the neck tightening. It's, uh, I think, still to be seen, but the doctors I know who use it love it. So I, have, I haven't heard anything bad about it at all. I think that's all. Now let's go through some questions before I go laser myself. Shervin's here and we're gonna laser each other. Uh, come on, wait, sure. what do we have to grab? We have to grab something. We need more goggles. Goggles, hi from Toronto. Hi, Guap Guapura, ooh, I like Guapura. Hi from Toronto, my daughter wants to study medicine, goes to study of plastic surgery, what's your advice? What's the advice for someone wanting to become a doctor in general? Good luck. <laughs> Maybe don't. It's a, I'm kidding. I, I, I love it, but uh, if you're into people torturing you all the time, after you're so nice to them, then it's a good it's a good field to be in. But no, I have very grateful, lovely patients, so they kind of outshadow the other ones. But uh, medicine is a long, long trip, which I love because I'm obsessed with it. What are your thoughts about threads? Uh, different talk. They're okay. Sonia, loving my lip lift, you're the best. Recommend a facial, da, 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 da. How many years did you study in plastic surgery? A lot, I did two fellowships. What about Softwave? Oh, look, I already talked about Softwave. Is Matrix better than Profound? No, it's not. For tint tightening, Profound's still the best. Matrix is gonna be awesome for all that other stuff. I am a RF engineer and I know that, that's good. Can you use jawline flow to mask gels? Yes, you can. Uh, you just don't try to fully mask some gels. If you have a super heavy gel, you say, listen, I'm gonna give you a 30% improvement or 40% improvement, not 100%. If it's a light gel, you can easily camouflage those. And if you wanna be, uh, I'd say more high yield about the changes that you get, always start in the pre-gel sulcus before following in the depression that you have behind the gel. So on me, you can see a little bit, post-gel, pre-gel, gel. This area is easier to fill. You wanna go subdermal here, not on the bone. If you go towards the bone, you can get hit one of the uh, vessels that comes around and goes into the neck and comes on the face. So don't do that. Just go subdermal here. You get a higher yield change and it's a three dimensional change. So you have to inject it out this way and inferiorly. That's how you uh, shadow and the co color actually changes too. So it looks not as dark, not just because you volumetrically popped it out but because the color reflection changes underneath. So it looks brighter. I like to use uh, Restylane Define for that is awesome, but you can use 
contour, you can use Revaness Versa, you can use anything. It's like, it's a really nice area to fill and then you do a little bit behind it and you're good, but don't chase it or else you're just gonna look heavy because you're gonna start carrying water away there. And I think that's it because Shervin's waiting for me. But I do hope that everybody has a fantastic night. And sorry, I haven't done Wednesday lesson of the day for a while. We've been running out of the office. When is Matrix gonna be available? In my office, right when I come back from New Year's. So uh, first couple weeks of Jean, Jean Vio. Everybody have a fantastic night and I will see you next Wednesday from Uruguay.